Hello everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Alrighty, so right now we are outside Riften. I've just gone through and sold all my stuff. And I bought some arrows. So I've got some arrows. I just bought everything that they had, all the arrows they had. Um, it took me like three shops before I could sell everything. So now we're going to go to speak to the, the um, Dawn Guard people about what just happened. Um, so yeah, oh wait, I just got a courier item. Something from that guy in Mark, uh, Markarth, I think it was. Let's see. Letter from Calcimo. What? Didn't I give him... I gave him a s okay. Interesting. I definitely gave him that arrow because I tried to get him to give me more money for it, and in the end, I gave it to him. That's very strange. Maybe every time I buy a new batch of um, arrows, he wants them. I don't know. Very strange. Okay. So I should be what? Oh jeez. I was like enemies. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Forcing all the wrong buttons. Um that's fast travel. Because I don't like trying to find my way back there. Okay. So I'm not quite sure, this place is so cool, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen after this. I know that there's like a whole quest line with Serana, so I'd like to have her back as a companion because she's really good. She does a lot of damage and she doesn't die. Is it up here that I go? No, that's just a stand. Um... What? What's going on? <sighs> That's not good. Are you okay? should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Of course. Why did I suppose differently? Fine. Tell me what you know. The woman trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? I'm waiting to hear what any of this means. They what? Yep. You didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? So they got everything they wanted. And we're left with nothing. Well, you should have done it yourself the then. Vines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. 
There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, you might have a chance. Okay. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, but smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Okay. Last I knew, she was out of her reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarven ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brood of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. <laughs> Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. What? Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to save. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Just two people. Okay. Watch your back. Give me all your stuff. Take that. Just gonna steal all this stuff. I had take that okay um so that started another quest line let's see where they want us to go Fruit Soarin. Without Gunmar. Didn't they say Gunmar? Oh wait. So he's nearby. So we could probably fast travel to Riften. Go find Gunmar since he's close, and then we might travel across the map to get the other lady. God might get nervous. A woman approaches with a weapon. I am literally leaving. What is your problem? Where am I supposed to be going? Man, there's so much water in this world. that Nern route from all the way across the river. Hi. It's not letting me jump. Um, so, I'm assuming... Yes. Does that mean he's in this cave over here? The f Can I please jump? Thank you very much. Is it 
dragon nearby. Oh. Oh. Not good. Um. Where's Mr. Dragon? Yeah, hi! Every single time I leave Rifton, I run into a dragon. Jack? Okay. Let's go back on top. Iron. Um, well, let's look. So, I guess there's a... A dragon thing around here somewhere in the mountains. Pretty sure I was going to run into that troll sooner or later. Where's this cave? Is that a troll? What is that? Oh! Whoops. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I didn't... Hi. You there? Yes. Hold fast. I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have okay. more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. No he vampires. Himself. Who could he possibly need my help with? Vampires. Vampires? That... Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. Alright, look. I consider it, but I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Okay. Is it inside? Crystal Drift Cave. Who's that? 
Seriously, I had I gave you way more than one arrow. Is there anything good in here? Where am I? Ah, oh, there. Okay. I helped you. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. No worries. You helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. Set up there. Still at that fort near Stendhal's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Okay. I'll see you at Fort Dongar. Yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying to see what, what's... Oh! There's a shrine here. Oh, I just got rid of the madness ore. Are you kidding me? I literally just... I sold it to one of the guys at Riften. I think. I think I did. Now I don't remember actually. Um, I'd love to know where that dragon den was. Probably up on the mountains. Oh jeez! Where's that cave that I just came out of? I need to go cleanse myself now. Body up here. Okay. Any, it's probably up here somewhere. She's way over the other side of the map. Um. <laughs> so... Fast travel there, I guess, and try and make our way across from there.
So I'm guessing she's just outside of town, maybe? Stop hitting me. Oh, come on, not more fever. Jerk. Oh, for goodness sake. How am I missing all of these? Okay. Where is this woman? Gotta be getting close. Oh, she's way around the mountain. I thought she was, like, nearby. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Oh dear. Where's that coming from? Oh, I see. All the way up there. Shot. Is a Broker's Leap. Okay. I feel better going into this with someone to watch my back, but I think I'll be alright.
thought I heard yeah. something. I keep missing. You won't leave here alive. Why won't it? Ugh. You were saying? Gold. Does that mean it's cleared? Okay. Let's get out of here then. It's all about the journey. E jump. This way. The sky's so blue. Over your valuables. What are you or doing out here? Like fish. How does that make sense? Yes, actually. You look like you're lousy with gold. I'm not going to ask again. Of course. I've seen you at the flagon. My mistake. Good luck out there. Fucking <laughs> jerk. So close. Oh, I found her. Oh my goodness. You haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? No. I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't they just ran the corner. Well, just look around, will you? He's wrong. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. He made it exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Sounds like this guy's a bit of a anyway, jerk. I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. 
Yes, that was my point. I felt it was rather clear. <laughs> Look, what is it you want from me? Vampires. Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. <laughs> well, what are they up to? They have an Elder Scroll. I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Ms. Ron is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from some place. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? No, I don't think so. Well, then I'm very sorry, but I can't just walk away from this project yet. I understand that, but I really can't leave here without at least one usable piece of dwarven equipment. What? Okay. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this <sighs> is useful stuff. I'm sorry, but I'm not about to do that with at least a single gyro to show for my efforts. Farewell. Okay. Some mud crab and up uh, down here. None of them have it. up here where the mud crab came from what would mud crabs want with my satchel anyway uh, can't get up there apparently So I'm guessing I have to find her satchel. I'm stuck. I'm stuck on something. There we go. <sighs> um, not that one. I want to see what it says. To 
just says I have to... Hmm... Maybe... Halt, Outlander. By the code of Malachan, this stronghold belongs to the Orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. Okay. This is our stronghold. Here, we are free to live as Malakath intended, away from the prying eyes of the Norns. You're not an Orc or Blood King, so stay on. We only help our own. He is the Daedric Lord of the Orcs, the Keeper of the Sworn Oath and the Blood I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. We live by his code and follow his teachings. An outlander like you wouldn't understand. There are few great strongholds worthy to talk about. Yushnikyar, Morkazgur, Narzobur, and Largishbur. Hmm. We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets, hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. Okay. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you are worthy to be blood kin to the orcs. We will see. Okay. I thought maybe they were thieves and they had her satchel. But I was wrong. I'm guessing I have to bring her. S <sighs> Those are bears, aren't they? Yep. Oh no, they're saber cats. That's not good. I just, I wonder how I'm supposed to find her satchel. Hang on, what's this? Oh! <laughs> I wandered way too far from her. Just one gyro. I understand. A single gyro would be enough, I think. Believe me, this is useful stuff. Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Okay. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Been working more on his secret hideout, has he? It'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. Okay. See you there. Until next time. Alrighty. Well, that's that done. Um. For yours. Um. I guess what I'll do is I'll end here. And we'll continue on with that quest line in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.